Hello once again, Bakugan Brawlers. So, this game is a little confusing. It's a very unconventional game. There's not a lot of games we see that uses toys with the card game. And so, with this video, I want to elaborate on the biggest mistakes that new players make when playing the game. This video is probably going to be outdated at some point because, no doubt, the comprehensive rulebook will change. But as of right now, use this as a reference if you get into an argument with someone else. I was mi I was told wrong at a certain point during the first sneak peek event last year. If you really want to, all three of your Bakugan can be Ultra Bakugan. Doesn't need to be one Ultra and two cores. All three of them can be ultras. It's okay, it's fine. And I want to make 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 a point to say that again because I am part of the reason why some people think that way. So I apologize if you thought that way because it was definitely my fault. I take full responsibility for it. It's my bad. Next is when you are rolling, when you roll a Bakugan on a Baku core, let's say it rolls, it opens up but it keeps rolling and you don't get the Baku core. You still brawl. You just don't get the Baku core. The, all, all you're looking for is for your Bakugan to open due to a Baku core. Doesn't need to pick it up. Doesn't need to keep it. No, it just needs to open because of it. If you roll a Bakugan and I don't know, I have, a, I have an Aurelis Krakalios that's faulty. So let's say you roll it and it just barely gets out of your hand and then it opens up. Like, it didn't get anywhere near the hide matrix, didn't get anywhere near a Baku core. That doesn't count. Doesn't count. I am sorry. So, that's, that's, I'm actually having an issue with my Aurelis Krakelios because, um, it's opening up way too easy. And that's actually worse than it opening up, than it being difficult to open up. So, uh, yeah. Next, let me talk about stop cards. Stop flip cards. People seem to misinterpret how stop works. And it's a very simple misunderstanding. When it says, like, right, this one says stop all non pyrus that means it stops the rest of the damage. It does not stop all of the damage. So if you flipped three cards, let's actually get, let's actually get an example. Let's say you flipped one, two, three cards, and on the third card, it's a stop card. You pay the cost, and this goes into your discard. Okay, and that's it. That's all that happens. You don't suddenly take the damage back and put it into your deck. That's not how it works. I've been seeing some people do that. That's not how it works at all. I'm sorry. You just stop the rest of the damage, not all of the damage. Next one, and this is a simple one. It's an easy one. You can choose any card to be an energy card in your hand. It doesn't matter what it is. Any card is viable and people People take the, 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 the tip that, hey, if you get a flip card on your opening hand, you should put it as an energy because you can't use it. Flip cards can only be used if they are flipped from the top of your deck. And so when people say, hey, you got a flip card your opening hand, make it an energy. That doesn't mean only flip cards can be energies. Any card in your hand can be an energy, okay? That actually makes me want to elaborate on another point. Another really big confusion is uh, you can use any faction in any faction card in your deck on any faction Bakugan you have. The whole point, the whole the whole point. Let me give me a second. So let's say I'm trying to build a deck with these three Bakugan. I have a Pyrus, I have an Aurelis, and I have a Chaos. Okay. So that only that means that I can only have Aurelis cards, Chaos cards, and Pyrus cards in my deck. That's all it means. Once the deck is built and you're actually playing, you can use any of those cards on any of your Bakugan. It's only a deck building restriction. Keep that in mind. Because I have a, I see a lot of people say, hey, I have Flame Wave. It's a Pyrus card, but I'm rolling out my Chaos Trox. I can't use it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I guarantee you, you can. It's okay. You you followed the rules with building the deck. That's all that matters. Now, Flame Wave can be used on your Pyrus Dragonoid, your Aurelis Lopithion, or your Chaos Trox. It's everything's fair game. Otherwise, the deck would be way too constricting and the game wouldn't be fun. Okay? You can use, I'm gonna repeat it one more time. You can use any faction card on any faction card. Bakugan while you're playing the game. Now let's go back to energy that I talked about. You don't 
have to put down an energy card. Some people think that you have to, some people think that it's either it's smart or you have to put down an energy card every single turn. That's not the case. Sometimes you have literally one card in your hand. You, sometimes you have no cards in your hand, you draw a card, and now that's the only card in your hand. You don't need to put it down. You can just keep it there. You can go, it, once, it, once it's energy phase, you say, okay, I choose not to energize. That's fine. You're okay. That, you can do that. And another thing, some people have been asking this question. You can only put down one energy card per turn. That does not include cards that have the ability to, to become energy cards. You understand? If it, only during the energy phase can you put a card, let's, let's actually get, a, let's actually get a, a spattering of cards. Let's say I have a card, let's say I have a bunch of cards here. It's, I, I draw a card for turn and I go, okay, I energize one card. Then the rest of the game begins and you go, hang on, I pay the cost and I have this card that says I can pay to make it an energy card. And that's legal, that's okay. But if it's during the energy phase, and this is where people start getting confused, if it's the energy phase only, specifically just the energy phase, only one, only one. At any other point, if the card says you can, then you can. But during the energy phase, you only get one. And finally, this is this was a big thing during the first sneak peek event, because people were wondering, how do I discern my Baku cores from my opponents. When we decide, when we finish the game, we need to clean up. How do we know which is which unless we take a picture? Well, you can take a picture, take a picture of both sides, so that makes it easier. Or you can mark the bottom of your Baku cores. The whole point is that it, you, you're, it, you can't mark the top because then you're marking it and you can see which one's yours while you're playing the game and that's not fair. You're supposed to have no idea. But if it's just for collecting them, I mean, once you flip it over, you're not using it anymore. You're, it's, it doesn't need to be face down once you picked it up. It's supposed to, you have to flip it face up once you roll onto it. So it's okay to mark the bottom of your Baku cores. I do it all the time. I try to become a little bit artistic with it. I'm gonna show this one one more time. And uh, this is, it's, it's okay. You can do it, even if it's just like a dot. It's just like a little dot, that's fine. If you don't like, if you don't like the idea of marking up your Baku, your Baku cores, then just take a picture of them. But if you don't care, because you have a hundred trillion Baku cores and it's becoming a problem with you, just draw on the bottom of them. Don't, don't obscure, don't obscure the numbers. Don't try to change that. Don't obscure any of the, any of the, any of the stats. That you notice on mine, I, I drew only around the numbers. That's intentional because you're not supposed to do anything else. You can only draw around the numbers. Don't obscure them. And that is the biggest mistakes I see from new players playing Bakugan. So that's everything I have to talk about. If I clarified anything for you, you're welcome. Tell me in the comments below. If there's something that you're still confused about, if I didn't explain it well enough, ask me in the comment section below. I will try to get to you. I swear I will try. That's everything I have for this video. Stay beautiful and keep playing. Thank you.